Welcome my fellow battle brothers and sisters to Warhammer 40k Gladius Relics of War. This game is pretty much civilization but with a Warhammer mod and it's done pretty well. There are four total factions, the Space Marines, Necrons, Astra Militarium, and finally the Orcs. Today we are going to be covering the Space Marines, the stoic defenders of humanity and the boss hosses of the Imperium. They fear nothing and dive headfirst into the fray. With chainswords and bolters in hand they vanquish foul heretics and traitors alike. Gladius Prime is the Space Marines and they will not let anyone take it from them. Space Marines are the only faction to have a single city. However, this city is gigantic and just gets bigger with research as you go down the road. They also drop Fortresses of Redemption from orbit which are frankly overpowered in the early game. Simply find some special resources and plant them next to them. They auto collect the resources and provide you with most of your map pressure. Starting off our list you need to clear your city tiles. You can construct up to three buildings total in a tile so long as obstructions are cleared or as long as they don't have a special resource on the tile. Some tiles give percent bonuses to the building such as research points or requisition points. Building the corresponding type will yield more to you. So this is incredibly important for you to focus on. The early game tech tree is pretty bare for the Space Marines. What you really need to focus on is getting the Reclusium, which allows you to create heroes and generates loyalty, which is super needed for you or your resource gathering goes down the drain. Next up, you want to grab the Armory. This gives you production and allows you to produce ground vehicles. Later on, this building will help you produce the strongest units for this faction. Go ahead and grab the Assault Marines next, as they exist for glorious melee combat. These sweet boys of the Imperium rip your enemy to shreds and take no shits. These Adeptus Astartes come equipped with jump jets, allowing them to reposition or scale terrain for flanking techniques. Also research dormitories as they increase your population cap, allowing for more buildings inside your holy city. Finally, go ahead and get Devastator Marines as these last cannon wielding units absolutely riggedy wreck any heavy armored units. While this next tip may seem a little obvious, you need to target one enemy with your multiple units. For one, it kills them faster and can possibly destroy their morale, making nearby enemies weaker. As you play more, you'll know which units to get rid of faster in a fight, but typically the more deadly your enemies tend to stick out. Seriously, the chapter captains are the manliest men on Gladius Prime. They have ridiculously high armor, ridiculously high damage, and can generate your most important resource, which is influence. Simply put points into Deeds of Glory, which earns influence every time the captain earns XP. Also, their orbital strike ability paired with orbital scan makes it easy to pick off fleeing enemies. Positioning is key. You have to focus on the range of your units, otherwise you might not be using them effectively. Melee units obviously have to be adjacent to your enemies, but most other units can be more than two tiles away and still do damage without any retaliation. Protect your fortresses of redemption. These fortresses are where your base gets all of its power without having to waste time building multiple buildings. Protect them with at least one other unit that does a good amount of damage. For tip number seven, you need to rush orbital deployment. This ability makes your army a mobile monstrosity and can pretty much win you the game, especially if you've been managing your city correctly. It allows your units inside your city borders to transport anywhere within your field of view, making it one of the greatest abilities to possibly have in the game. Seriously, you need to get this ability as soon as you can in order to keep up with the other factions. Without it, you will probably will have issues reinforcing your armies. Make sure to use your doctrines. These abilities enhance your armies quite a bit at the cost of influence, but they can turn the tides of battle. Simply base your doctrines and other abilities around your army type while you are still focused on expanding. Once you get into the endgame, you should have almost every doctrine and can use them as you please. For tip number 9, heal inside your base. Before you have apothecaries to literally win you the game, you need to put your space boys inside your base and heal them, as this increases the rate of which they heal. The only reason I really have this on the list is because I didn't really see it in the tutorial, but I could have missed it. Either way, this tip is here now. For our final tip, it involves fighting on multiple fronts. This can get you wiped from the game stupid fast. So what you need to focus on is repelling the enemy until you can build up enough units to assault the weaker faction. Once you have orbital scan and deployment, this will make it a lot easier to destroy the weaker faction while you handle the defenses. And make sure to have the correct hero and support units in order to keep the morale high and prevent yourself from losing any units. Remember, the Emperor of Mankind does not tolerate failure. Well, that's all I've really got for this one. Feel free to leave some tips in the video that I missed, and I'll be sure to highlight them for everybody to see. Anyway, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. See you later.